Good morning. First full day here in Morelia. My friend Carlos is picking us up and he's taking us to the best carnitas in Mexico. Like, there's a contest in Mexico every single year for best carnitas and there's a guy who wins it every year. So we're, we're gonna go visit him right now. In this neighborhood, like, I can't get out without keys. That's Carlos, by the way, if you didn't watch the vlog. So, best carnitas in Mexico today. Yeah, best carnitas. Let's go, let's go. We're in Tacumberto, and this place is supposed to have the best carnitas. Carlos just parked his car with the police. He just like gave his keys to the to the police. You did? Yes. And it's okay. It's okay. The <laughs> oh, that's beautiful church. Uh, is this the downtown area? First carnitas. First carnitas, yes. This is called a nunches? Nunches. Nunches. It's a local fruit, right? Yes. It looks like a little yellow cherry. Whoa. Kind of tastes like a cross between a cherry and an apple. Oh my God. The food gods are, are smiling down at me because this is my breakfast right here. Take a look at that. This is the most incredible thing I might have ever set my eyes on. Can't wait to bite into that. And every day they go through just one pig. They cook it. This is all the pig bones right here. They sell it out and that's it. If you want this carnita, you gotta come here early. Oh, they make everything fresh. This is beautiful. This restaurant is known as Carnitas Tacamba. And we're in the state of Michoacan, which is where carnitas originated. And if you don't know what carnitas are, it's slow simmered pork. It's basically Mexican pulled pork. So here you have some skin, uh, you have some innards, and then this is all meat from the legs. So this is gonna be more lean. And then we have some of the more uh, exotic cuts. There's some meats from the chin, some kidney, some innards, some ears, and you eat this with freshly made flour tortillas right here. So there's a little inside knowledge here in Mexico that everyone that's like, you can't just put your stuff on either side of the tortilla. You have to put it on one single side. And they purposely cook it like this. So I cannot wait for this, first of all. I'm just gonna fill mine with a little bit of lean. I wanna put a little pig skin on mine, put a little meat from the pig's face, some ears, some salsa, a little bit of pickled veggies, and you gotta pair it up with a whole jalapeno. So there's a canita competition in, in Mexico. The chef here wins it every single year. So this is the best canita in Mexico. The anticipation is high. Wow. I, I need like a second to recover from that bite. Mm. This is why I came to Mexico. You won't find anything like this stateside. Tender, juicy morsels of pork from different cuts of the body, each having their own different textures. You get that nice gelatinous flavor from the tongue, the great chew from the muscles, the vinegary flavor from the pickled vegetables, slight spice from the salsa. Every single ingredient I think I love about Mexico is it, basically in here right now. And just rolled with the most pillowy, gentle tortilla. Mm. Mm. You need that little jalapeno for the extra kick. And it actually blew my mind way beyond what I thought Canita should be. Like for me, I didn't even know there's so many different cuts of it. You choose any cut, it's gonna have a textual difference, but all of them flavored perfectly. So tender and as good as this tastes on its own. Or you can just grab a piece of meat and stuff in your face and you'll be really, really happy already. What I love about this dish is you can put different types of meats in here. So now I got some inners in there. I got some of the juicy pork. I got some of the skin. You can customize it into different textures, flavors, and tastes. This one, squeeze of lime, pickle onions and carrots, a little bit of vinegar. Like this is gonna be really, really citrusy and vinegary. Take a bite. Mm. 
This is one of those foods that every time you wrap a new taco, it's like a brand new food adventure. But every single time, you get that renewed feeling of excitement before you take your first bite. Because this one, inner slightly crunchy, got more skin in here, got the nice gelatinous flavor all oozing in this taco. But it's balanced beautifully with a nice citrus and the vinegar. I love every single thing there is to love about this. My first meal of the day, I, I don't know how it's gonna get better from here. I mean, carnitas, freshly made tortillas sitting in a restaurant where you're like sitting by Mexican families, like literally right by me. Grandma, grandpa, mom, dad, the kids are just stuffing their face with plates of pork. This atmosphere doesn't get more authentic, traditional, and more amazing than what I'm experiencing right now. So satisfying. So happy I'm here. Why didn't I come here like 10 years ago? I don't know. Everything I love about Mexico. All this, right here, right now. So all this that we had, $5. This will feed four people, four or five people easily. Oh, don't forget, when you're traveling in Mexico, 10% tip, okay? Don't forget to do that. On to the next food item. Oh, gracias, muchas gracias. Wow, so this is the shaved ice. There's actual timber in here. Mmm, I have a very tart. I mean, that's what tamarind is. All right, it's refreshing. This is making me more hungry. So let's go grab something else that's really, really known here, uchepos. So this place, uh, they steam uchepos, which are sweet tamales, steamed corn, and chayotes. We're gonna try all this, right? And then chili sauce. <laughs> so I had the Uchepo last night and this place, I mean this is known for having the best. I already love this. You never had, you never had a sweet tamale. It is absolutely glorious. Mm -hmm. You get that nice fresh corn flavor. And they put a little chili on here as well to give it that nice little bite. Oh, that just goes everywhere on your tongue, does a little dance, it just makes your mouth the happiest it can be. I can't get enough of this. Elote, Mexico. This is special sauce from here? I found hot oil here in Mexico. <laughs> it's very hot. I'm excited. They have hot oil here in Mexico. Oh my God, this is crazy. That is some good hot oil. It's not gonna overpower any of the other flavors. It's gonna work in unison. So you can get something spicy, salty, sweet, creamy, crunchy. Oh, look at this. Chayote. It's a vegetable that's steamed and cut in half. Whoa. Oh, it's really interesting. I mean, there's no seasoning here. You're just eating the vegetable itself. It's a very fresh flavor, really juicy, subtly sweet. Mm. It's like a cross between a mashed potato and a squash. Hmm. I'm gonna go home and grow my own. It's like, it's, it's steamed. We can eat this. Ooh. Well, that's a pleasant surprise. The seed has almost like an almondy flavor. Hmm. People here are so, so incredibly friendly. Three food items, two US dollars. Let's keep eating. This is uh, tacos and grillos, and it's kind of like a tortilla wrapped with meat. One of it is meat, one of it is cheese. They look like rolled up tacos. I think this is uh, chicken inside. <laughs> oh man, this is good. Oh, this is good stuff. I mean, I thought like looking at it in the beginning, like right, there's not that much, much meat inside, but you can definitely taste the chicken. But the tortilla, hmm. Mm, it's so soft. This is the cheese burger. The cheese is very fragrant. It adds that nice creamy texture to this already pretty delicate tortilla. That was a great little snack. Less than a dollar.
this place makes fresh gorditas. And if you don't know what that is, it's basically a pita uh, made with masa corn and it's stuffed with basically anything it wants. So it could be meat, cheese, whatever. And everything is cooked fresh here on this hot iron griddle. And they're doing everything by hand. My fingers burn just looking at this. Everything smells so incredible. Ooh, look at this. Our gorditas, perfectly charred. Juicy carnita inside. This one filled with cheese and then the chicharron with cheese as well. And you gotta dress the gorditas out. So a little salsa, some chili jalapenos, some pickled lettuce. Look at that. Oh. Perfectly toasty on the outside. Right underneath is mixed with the juice from the carnitas and that little vinegar from the pickled jalapenos. You need everything in this to make it work. You'll never want to put it down. Oh, I gotta try this. The chicharron with cheese on the inside. You need to try this. Huge pork flavor blending in with that soup corn and just the most melty of cheese. All right, favorite? For sure the carnita, but this is a must try here. You definitely need the pickled vegetables for this. 100% need it. Without it, a little too heavy, but with it, you got yourself something special. So sugarcane juice, Carlos told me sugarcane is from Mexico. Yes, yes, he's the best. So this is pure sugarcane juice. Yes. There's no water in here. Oh, this is really refreshing. Mmm, I mean, it's so good. By the way, this is Francisco. He's the head of the tourism board here in Tacambaro. So he's taking me around too. Next up, are we eating chicken? chicken. Best chicken. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Now we're going for chicken, right? I'm thinking, Chicken, regular chicken. Take a look at this. Oh, it is literally like a sauna. I don't know how this is not gonna be dry though. Now let's try this out. I'm really curious. All right, we're, we're trying some of this roasted chicken and it comes with an orange that has pepper on it. You're supposed to spray this all over the chicken. Oh, wow. That is a flavorful chicken. Oh, when it's kissed by that orange, it's like the holy food gods came down and blessed this piece of chicken. Mm. That's skin. That's skin. I mean, it's been sitting on a tanning bath for like the good part of a day, so the skin's gotta be glistening brown and perfectly crispy and delicious, right? And it absolutely is. You gotta have the orange. Let it ring down. It gives the chicken just a nice, tangy, sweet flavor. Mm. And you're supposed to eat it with a tortilla. I'm gonna debone the chicken a little bit, put it inside the tortilla. Little pickled onions, little salsa, little veg, star fruit, squeeze of citrus. Mm. So much flavor in that meat. Roast chicken, fresh vegetables, fresh fruits, all put together in tortilla. It's like eating chicken to a whole new level. This is really beautiful. This is uh, the town of Sensunsan, and uh, this is where that, that famous monastery in the movie Coco, the real life inspiration is here. And just a beautiful view of the lake, Pascuaro Lake. And on the other side is the Jacatas. These are like pyramid-like ruins, which combines like 
pyramid shape and also circular shape. And these were created by the uh, Parapacha people who inhabited these lands. So really small town, but with a lot of historical significance. And also, you know, a little inspiration into a Disney movie. Uh, take a look around, deep breath. Just a stunning view before we go for some ice cream. Next stop, we're at Pascuato. Uh, this is a really magical little town. This, we're in the middle of this old town square where everybody just walks around. See a lot of couples here, and they're all doing one thing, eating ice cream. And because this town is known for their legendary ice cream, some people even come here just for the ice cream. The ice cream is called pasta because it's got flour in it. Let's go get some. So these are the places that sell ice cream, of course, packed with people. And uh, a couple flavors, pasta with strawberries and pasta and mame. So I'm gonna get both of those and try it out. This is Maria Amparo Contreras. Her family's been selling this ice cream for 114, over 114 years. Her grandfather created the ice cream and she's been selling it her whole life. Wow. Everything is artisanal. Yeah. Means by hand. Everything made by hand. Nothing with machine. Nothing with machine. Still, to this day, over 100 years. Mm. That's so creamy. Like, every single bite. Beautiful little wafer dish. <laughs> That's a little tougher than your regular wafer. It needs it because you don't want the wafer to melt through when the ice cream drips. This is like having Ryan Gosling as your wingman. This makes it smoother. Ah, everything with love, he said. Everything with love? Oh, I can taste the love. Oh, for sure. 72, family business, still here every single day, making sure it tastes just as good as the day it was created. This is what I love, to taste the love, you know? Yeah, this is so great. Just coming here for this is worth it. You know how the bottom of an ice cream cone is the best? Well, bottom of, of this little ice cream tray right here. Mm. So these are empanadas, the sweet type. This is a peach one. This is really good. Wow, this is a flaky, crusty, very peachy empanada. My only regret was I saved some ice cream so I could have dunked this in there. Mm. So Paulo's told me about why it's shaped like this. Now in Chinese dumplings, it's because it's like the year. The doctor invented dumplings, basically the cure frostbite of the year. That's why we call it dumpling. It used to be called dumpling year. Okay. Why is this shaped like a dumpling here? It's because the people who, who used to work in the minery, mm -hmm. they have the, the hands dirty. Yeah. And they took this way, yeah. the food, and that way they eat in a clean way. Mm -hmm. And they can throw away the, the side. Good to know. Mmm. Milk. That is really creamy. So you got that nice crust and that creamy center. The guava empanada, this is the best. Wow. What I love about the ice cream shop, the pastries, it all stays in the family. They keep up the quality. They don't try to mass produce it. It is that good for a reason, and this is amazing. One last thing before we end the day. Uh, elote here, gotta get the white corn instead of yellow corn because it's just better. No GMO, no coloring. And they got a bunch of tortillas. Uh, this is like, again, yeah, like very reminiscent of, of like Chinese spiced uh, chilies with peanuts. So they have chilies with peanuts here and tortillas. And this is the spiciest one they have, hot oil. I'm just gonna <laughs> some of this. And you gotta eat it with all oh, with a popsicle stick. You can't go wrong with any corn dish in this country. That is spicy. 
Mmm, I like it though. That is my kind of heat. I'm gonna magical place. I'm gonna walk around, maybe go get a fridge magnet, but wow. First full day in Mexico. I'm in love with this country. Like, this might be one of the friendliest countries I've ever visited in all my, all my travels. On our way back to Morelia, but passed through this little town called Quiroga. And there's a night market here. I really want to go to a Mexican night market. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm so excited. My first taco stall experience. Ah, gracias. This is uh, Capiza, right? Capiza? Capiza. Couple different types of salsa. I am so excited about this. We're going on a taco tour later in Mexico City, but let's get the party started. Oh, oh that is some tender head meat. Oh, he just took out this onion. This has been stewing in this gravy. There we go, chorizo. Oh man, look at that giant piece of onion. <laughs> Oh, that onion is crazy. Sweet, crunchy, all soaked in that nice meaty juice. This is I love. I might love this more than the head meat. Mm. What a satisfying late night meal. Wow. All right, let's keep going. Man, this just opened my appetite up. Tacos, open the floodgates. Let's go get some more canitas. All right, you know what? As much as I love carnitas, I, I, this is the first time I'm seeing guacamole in this country right now, so. <laughs> that is insane. Mm. Head to the yes for the guacamole. Got the tortilla, you remember? Thin side on top. I wanna try this first. So I asked for the most tender cuts of meat because sometimes in the carnita, if you get the dryer cut, it's not gonna taste as good. These are three different types of chilies that they're cooked in. This is blowing my mind right now. I mean, the carnitas, look at it. Supremely juicy, slightly charred. Absolutely, this is a year, by the way. Mm. Wow. Extremely well flavored, tender. This sauce is everything. It's a thick chili paste. It tastes like chili serrano. Oh, it is making me so happy right now. This soaked in the sauce. Second plate. This is cooked with chili morita. Giant cuts of juicy, juicy meat. So I'm totally forgetting my tortilla right now, but I'm having so much fun with this. It's got a really great roasted charred flavor inside the sauce. This is mature chili serrano. That's why it's orange. It's got avocado on top. I see skin. Oh my God, it's just covered in the sauce. I can't even, oh, here's a big chunk of meat right here. Yeah, let's eat it with some skin. Shut the front door. We have our winner. Spicy, like really spicy. This ain't your typical Taco Bell fire sauce, man. Wow, we have definitely crossed the border. 100% Mexico spicy right here. Woo! And it is heating its way into my heart. I love this. Uh, everything we ate today, taste-wise, I think we just hit the jackpot like right now. This, this is fantastic. Carnitas from this morning, I love how simple it is. All it was was a little bit of salt, and that's how you get the great flavor of the pork. It's so juicy and nice in its natural form, but this with the sauce, these sauce, I'm a big sauce person. I think I'm gonna have to put this place on my, you gotta come list. If you can't handle the heat, make sure you got a glass of milk sitting by you because these will heat you up. This is so incredibly spicy but flavorful. They definitely make the sauce work with the meat. Uh, I gotta sit down and finish this and it's not gonna be pretty. So again, thank you guys so much for watching all the places I went to, listed down below. Such a great first day in Mexico. It's only gonna get better from here. I'm kind of crying right now from the chilies and from how good this is. All right, until we eat again, see you later.